one of the benefits of Kubernetes is that you do not instantiate for every machine that you deploy uh, a full stack, a full copy as you do with uh, virtual machines. You instantiate just one kernel that is shared by multiple pods that run across. And while that is extremely efficient, it has a security problem, which is if somebody gets through one of those pods and compromises it, it and from it, it moves into the kernel and compromises the kernel, then every other pod that shared that kernel is being compromised. That's why Red Hat acquired StackRox. What this is, is a technology that allows you to set up some policies and say these are the things that people can and cannot do. And uh, when a policy gets viol violated, then this technology can do two things. One, and this the one that we will show here today, is to send a notification to Curator for Curator to fire an offense on it. And second, it can even, you in the policy, you can either block the execution of that and then the pod gets actually deleted and created again without that malicious command. So let's actually see how that works uh, with uh, curator. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get into one of those uh, pods that have been deployed and I should be able to get in there and I mean and one of the things that I have is a policy to alert me when uh, these things happen and if I try to while I'm here I, I try to add a user then even, and you can see in the background the things actually happening and more on that later, but this actually, just the fact that I try to invoke the command user add, regardless of the fact that I didn't put the right uh, uh, attributes uh, for it, uh, so it did not execute well, it actually triggered that uh, notification, that detection of the policy violation. If I try to install a package which the, the policy that I have established here in ACS in advanced cluster security prohibit anyone from installing a package then again that that issue alone will generate a policy violation as well we can see those actions in here you know that was when I executed uh, and get into into the actual pod I was trying to use the uh, the user I was trying to install the package so all those things were actually detected and again uh, I don't have them enforced in here to kill the instance, the pod, uh, but uh, you can also do that. Let's actually go to Curator and see what uh, Curator saw out of all this. And here we see the offense that fire in Curator with those uh, three events. Let's actually see them in more detail here. We can actually see them here. So total visibility uh, from what is being enforced in my pods and I get I can correlate this with all the things coming from the cloud, from on-prem, and get intelligence out of it. We can even see a sample rule that will fire when these things uh, actually happen. So the first thing that the rule does is uh, detects that uh, it's, it's an event coming from that uh, DSM, more on that in a second, um, and when the field is empty, that's you can almost treat every one of the messages that are sent from it as uh, being fire and offense, but in particular uh, when the container name doesn't have anything in there, then uh, this offense actually fires. If we pick inside the event, we can actually see that uh, it's fired because the username is not populated. So I wanted to show you, I uh, went into the admin uh, tab on the log source management and here is the instance of the the new DSM for stack rocks or now called ACS and we can see the type of parameters that are put in there here on the protocol 
and the nice test that always allows us to see where stuff comes from the cloud if there is a problem where the problem actually resides.